Hello, hello, and welcome to another media review. This one is going to be, of course, as the title shows, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. This is going to be over episode four. If you have not seen the other ones as of yet, we're actually going to be creating links to go ahead and go into these feeds so you can go back and rewatch these if you have not seen them yet. If you have, we're good to go. If you have not, well, let's go ahead and get this out of the way real quick. So we've got spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You have been warned. See, they're, they're doing the same thing with the hands. It's it. Yeah, it's all good. We have fun with this show. Why not? Lord of the Rings. Rings of Power. What's going on with this thing? Wow. Uh, where to start on this thing? The best way to start is to go ahead and go over the fact that uh, nobody likes elves. Don't know exactly what's going on with that. We're going to find out more as we go along with that, I'm sure. But... Uh, Seems everywhere the elves go, they don't like them. Uh, so there's a story behind that, I'm sure. Now, these, of course, are based on the series themselves, not the books or the the epic sagas that are out there and everything. So don't you know, fault me on any of that. I'm just going off of what I'm seeing on the screen. So Galadriel, which is one of the main characters in here, she... Uh, she, she wants off that island. She wants off Numenor uh, in the worst kind of way. So she can go ahead and go to the uh, Southlands and confront the hordes that are down there that are about to go ahead and start really building up to take over Middle Earth. Problem is, she's not allowed to leave, but she's not allowed to go there. And now we come into this episode where now they're coming in there with an armed escort to go ahead and take her... To, uh, back to her homeland. Now, why is she in prison in the first place? Well, that's because she uh, got a little mouthy with the queen there, uh, based on the fact that, where's your allegiance to the elves? I want to speak to your father about this. You have not seen the king throughout all of this. Uh, the queen there is the interim queen. She's actually princess. Uh, it, uh, it takes a turn. Because you see that he is incredibly, incredibly ill and uh, possibly dying very quickly. It, it brings about a lot on there. We're going to come back to talking about that segment of it because there's a full circle event that happens throughout all this. Then we go to um, Aladir, Alager, however you say his name, the elf that was captured by the orcs, uh, meets up with Aldar. We still don't know. Who Aldar is in all of this, we just know that in all of these orcs, now there's an elf that is leading them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, I don't know, it's, it's weird. So first of all, we've got all the orcs that are using slave labor of the elves to build all of their stuff. We didn't know that from the movies and everything on there. And now we're seeing that their leader at this time is not even an orc, it's an elf. Very dark elf at that. Uh, but he carries with him, he has on the, the, the gauntlet that looks very familiar to a certain one that was worn by a uh, certain individual who could not be killed by the blade of any man. The same line was, I am no man. So if you know who I'm talking about, you know where this is going. I'm going to see if I'm correct in thinking that that's how this is. Uh, if it is the Witch King, this is this is interesting. This is fun. Uh, that being said, we got no story whatsoever on the Hobbits. None. Did they make it, you know, on their caravan trip? Uh, what's going on with their stranger that's with them? Nothing. We had nothing. Um, so wait till next time. I'm sure they're going to have a little more into that uh, with that one. Aside from that, there's a lot of story about what's happening about everybody running away from what the orcs are doing out there and all coming to basically one place and there's no food. So the kid that ran away uh, in the first of it and everything uh, with everybody and stole the hilt that he found in there decides to go back. Well, he's got this hilt with him and he's learning 
little by little that uh, pain and blood actually activate this thing. And we finally get to see exactly how that works with this. Simply takes the hilt, puts his hand out, puts the hilt in, slaps it into his wrist, almost into the vein almost, and uh, it draws from there and becomes metal fire of some sort. He has an altercation with an orc that's there. Uh, the orcs find out, you know, of course, whenever you hit them with that, that that's the hilt they've been looking for this entire time, for whatever reason, somehow, some way. And that being said, now they're chasing after him, and we don't know where he is. It leaves us hanging on that one. But it does say, uh, towards the end, whenever they come back to Aldar and let him know, we know where the hilt is. It is in that particular location, starts with an O, uh, is where all these people are. Aldar had sent um, Aladir, Eldir. One of these days I'll get it right. And whenever I do the series of audio with it, I'll get it right, I promise. He sent him over there with a message. Uh, we didn't know what that message was until he got there. He basically said he only wants what's out there with everything. Stay out of his way. Pledge fealty. And you all live. Okay, so you're going to believe what orcs and a dark elf say. Yeah, sure, why not? But now he knows the hilt's there, so I'm thinking that he's going to renege on the deal pretty fast on this one, and they're going to come in full force after that hilt and destroy everything and everything that's there in that place. So there's that. Going back to Galadriel, she meets up with the queen uh, whenever she uh, makes her way uh, by escaping the, uh, the guards and everything. To go and find this king, finds out he's ill and everything like I had mentioned before. But the queen now takes her upstairs even further in this tower to a room filled with elven relics of, you know, all kinds of sorts and all. And then a very familiar, somewhat familiar sphere in the middle. Palladium, Palatrio, Palladiary. There's a word for it, and it's right there, and I'm right there on top of it. Uh, put it in the comment and let me know exactly what it is. It's a grouping of these spheres that are out there, uh, six or seven of them. They've all been lost. Don't know where they are. This is the one that we've got. You put your hand on it, and it shows you, is it future? Is it destiny? Is it what could, could not happen? So Galadriel puts her hand on there according to what the queen tells her to do. And the sphere just, it starts breaking apart, almost like shattering. In the process, she sees in her mind the destruction of uh, Numino. So her thinking is, you can always change your destiny by going ahead and doing something, you know, that you need to be doing on there. If you turn your back on the elves and do not help, there will be repercussions. The only reason that Numenor actually survived and everything is because of the elves' protection on there. Well, the queen says, sorry, but we're going to make it a public thing tomorrow. You're going to be escorted to the pier. You're going to be taken out on a boat to the ship, and you will be taken by a very, very armed escort back home. That way you cannot uh, deviate from that. Cut to the chase. We get to the point where... Uh, She's about to be taken down there. She's getting into the boat. The boat starts taking off uh, toward the ship. And the petals start falling from the sacred tree. It is said that if those petals start falling, it is such as the tears of the elder elves who protect it. And one to remind them that their gaze is ever upon them. So, before you know it, they get Galadriel back to the shore. The tree is no longer dropping petals. And now we are taking uh, taking on members to go on this huge expedition to get with her, to get more people involved, and go to 
I'm guessing the Southlands is what they're going for to go ahead and confront these, this evil. That's where we're left off with this. So Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, where do we stand right now? I'm still putting this at a hard four out of five. Um, I would put it five out of five if I understood a little bit more, but I think that's the whole point. I have a, a really good feeling now that whenever they're all said and done, it will definitely be a five out of five on the ratings on this. Uh, for right now, it's got enough of a hook that it's like you can't miss anything. So you're there every single week. Well, I am to go ahead and watch every single episode that's on there. So Amazon Prime, Fridays, uh, it drops. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, we're up to episode number four. That means we have four left to finish out the season. There are only eight episodes in this entire season. I will be covering each and every episode every single week. So be looking for these drops. And uh, please, 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 please comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know some of your favorite things that have happened in there. And if you don't want to put anything out here that could possibly spoil, you know, by putting text out there aside from watching the video, reach out to me. Let me know. And we'll discuss if need be and see what we need to discuss and talk about. I'd love to. Until then, I will see you next week with another episode, episode five of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. So keep in mind this. Uh, if you got stuff out there that you want to watch, what's in your watch list? <laughs>